can you believe it? There are so many requests asking what I eat. I made a whole video. This is the documentary about what B eats in a day. <laughs> Usually even I don't know. Alrighty, I got asked to talk about what I eat. I start like this so you can see what state I'm in. Uh, I'm not trying to lose weight, I'm not trying to gain weight, so I'm not cutting or bulking or any of that. I'm just maintaining. I used to compete and 11 years ago I won in fitness. But now I'm old, so in the morning when I wake up I smell and look like roadkill. Look! My face is hanging down. It's a warning, guys. Seriously, you want a six pack and get rid of all your fat? What is going to keep you plump? Your face is gonna hang down. And it's not just your face, guys. <laughs> what do you think these are made of? These are gonna hang down like mine. Sure, not all is lost. You will have glutes. I love my glutes. <laughs> they are my compensation for my lack of boobs. Top tip though, if your boobs or your face are all hanging down south, you can do lots of inversions. That's what I do them for, so everything is looking up. <laughs> no, I do them for lymphatic drainage and for resistance training and bone density and core activation, of course. But it's just a top tip. If your face is hanging down like mine, you can do inversions so that your skin goes back up where it used to be. Ah, oh, back to what I eat. You will be most annoyed with me because it depends on the season and it also depends on what leftovers we've got. I grow a lot of food, so depending on what I just picked from the garden or the woods, it will be different. But it's a long story, very long, I'm very sorry. I could have trained and dieted for this video, but I think what will be cool is after this video, I could actually try and lose some fat to help others so that we can do it together, I suppose. Uh, so I will lose uh, weight or fat, more like fat, um, after I filmed this video. At the moment, I'm not worried. I'm not trying to compete anymore. I'm a, a single mom working full-time hours sedentary at a desk and uh, I do not have any desire to go on stage. You'll see, we will talk a lot. This video is going to be long. I'm very sorry about that. I will show you where I grow our food. Not like if I wanted to do a gardening video or start a gardening website. It's not about that, just so you can see. It's a lot of work. Our growing season is super short. It's about three months, really. So most of the year I do nothing in the garden. About nine months of the year no gardening for me and then for three lots and lots and it does not give you a six pack, it gives you a backache and food. I also forage a lot of things, I pick wild edibles and herbal medicine. I'm not going to turn into a foraging or herbal medicine website or channel but I'll show you a few things that I pick what I forage and grow, I preserve, and that is how I have access to lots and lots of things. It's a, a huge variety and all natural and local and as seasonal as possible and proper weird. I also have fish. I don't do fishing, but people locally do. And when I cut grass for them or give them cakes, they give me fish from the local lakes and rivers. So we eat that. I love sweet things and I make everything from scratch. This is marzipan. I make a lot. I can eat like 400 grams in one go. <laughs> My nutrition is super cheap and I eat like a horse, crazy amounts. Very time consuming, but guess what? I don't watch TV or scroll social media. Don't have a hobby of online shopping. I have a hobby of planting potatoes, growing them, harvesting them, dragging them down into a root cellar, shredding carrots or picking mushrooms, freezing them, herbs that I grow and process. It will be weird. I'm so sorry. This is pine pollen. Who needs this, right? And there's fish, more fish, fish all the time. <laughs> It's free, right? And fermented stuff, I ferment everything I can put my hands on. If it was from the shop, I wouldn't eat it. But it's local and free. <laughs> Leftovers I eat. I also drink insane amounts and lots of kefir 
a fermented dairy product I make into soup or sweets and I also have a habit of eating a lot of cheese and it's not going to look Instagram perfect I eat with my hands when I have time so do not expect pretty a couple of words of warning if you're not yet shredded as much as you like and you do not yet have the six-pack that you want it's a good thing because it means you do not yet know what amount of hate jealousy and insecurity is going to start showering on you very often all i do is i just walk into somewhere the other day i walked into the library i didn't even know the people there a random stranger walks to me immediately asking what gym i use and she would then go on to tell me about all the things reasons why she's not working out and why she is not yet eating clean but she wants to I did not even have time to say hello yet, but already people felt like they have to explain themselves. Nobody has to explain themselves, I understand. If it's not important enough, it's not important enough. I had times in my life when it was not important enough to be in any shape or be any kind of fitness. But this is important that if you're going to look super shredded, that will trigger a lot of other people and they will feel insecure. They will feel bad about themselves when they are around you. They will torture you. You will not enjoy hanging out with people that much anymore. And uh, yeah, if you have a bit of fat and if you do not yet have a six pack, enjoy the love of people because as long as you make them feel good about themselves they will love you actually if you want them to love you gain extra weight and get really unfit because that way they will be nice to you if you will look shredded they will not be nice to you anymore are you still watching what's wrong with you i will talk about hormones and calories and scales